Uh, hi everyone, welcome to this special episode. Uh, we'll be talking about some of the celebrity houses and their interiors. Uh, we'll be passing our some critique, analyze it, and you know it would be a nice educational uh, video. One will be able to nice quite a few uh, stuff that is happening over there. Today we'll be talking about the house of one of the goats of all time, Sachin Tendulkar. And uh, so let let's get into it. They had a relatively new flat in Bombay. I think immediately uh, what you'll see is that this is a relatively modern style designed uh, flat. Uh, we don't find any big metal works. We don't find uh, any very intricately done furniture items uh, that is not over there. We have some relatively uh, straight line furnitures present. And as you can see, the basic character of the entire place, the basic pattern, the major heavy element is actually the flooring which is this uh, magnificent uh, chocolate brown colored marble which has streaks of uh, cream white run cream white running through it uh, it has been used very expertly uh, in not in, in a very in a very straight line way we haven't we don't have any major intricate marble work here and there so this is this creates a very nice uh, background pattern which is again complemented in a very in, in a very nice way uh, by having mostly uh, white roofs and uh, uh, white, white or cream colored walls around it. So this immediately uh, uh, sets out somewhat of a, of, of a color scheme for the entire space, if you will. You have the, you have the magnificent brown, chocolate brown marble. Then you have a cream color for the walls and the, uh, the roof. And then you are followed by somewhat the light brown wooden furnitures that you will find and black metal pieces here and there and you know television and so on and so forth which are three, all the four colors color that i mentioned over there they gel very well together and you'll find them present uh, in most of the areas uh, in in this order relatively sometimes the white would be the dominant color and uh, the chocolate chocolate brown and the chocolate marble will be at the background and sometimes vice versa. So in this case, as you can see, it works well uh, because the pattern is relatively heavy. Uh, it, it's it, it occupies most of the space. So it actually uh, makes sense to have uh, relatively modern furniture. You have uh, you have you have no pattern or very limited patterns on the floors on on the roof and the walls. It makes the space it's not, it's not too filled by uh, a lot of different elements which are like coming at you. So that works very well. And uh, so that this is what we'll find in, in, in most of the interiors that has been done over here. Okay, so moving on, to, you can see the living room side of it. Over here, you will find again the basic highlight uh, over there, apart from the full flooring, is the carpet. You know, that is the red carpet over here. Uh, that is the centerpiece of uh, of this area. They have chosen a very bright color over here. Uh, it still goes nicely and I think they, they did want it to add a bit more color because generally uh, the, the four colors that I mentioned they are relatively dull uh, in sometimes. So having a ha having a touch of red here and there uh, actually, actually uh, levels the place up a bit. As you can see this is the only space uh, where the roof is also uh, dark. So over here uh, you'll see in areas where the roof is uh, cream or white you'll feel a little more airy. It feels more spacious areas which have the, all the three components, which is the walls, the floor, as well as the roof, uh, the dark color. Just having those colors uh, around in that way, it does create a, a mental image of, of being in a relatively closed space. Uh, so over there, in, in a more private space, let's just say, or in a more parted off space. That works well because this is a, this is a living area and they probably want it to be parted off from, let's say, the other sides, which is the foyer, as well as maybe a balcony and the TV area as well. The lighting creates a very nice mood effect uh, on that place, uh, which also works well with the red carpet. And uh, yeah, so apart from the red carpet, which is basically the highlight over there, uh, what you do see is a basic straight line modern furniture, which is the sofas and the seats. I'm sure the fabric must be uh, fabulous over there that has been used. And the basic design element over there is the cushions. And again, the cushions are basically using uh, the silver color as well as the, the red rouge, uh, which is complement this design element also, which keeps on coming up again and again in other places, is that uh, you actually have a wooden 
and a wooden and uh, you can say steel table over there this is actually an industrial style uh, furniture item this is not a modern one and the but the wood element to it the wood element actually adds a bit more of uh, warmth to it and uh, so, so so wherever you do get uh, wooden elements uh, you it gen they generally add a little bit of warmth to the area you feel a little more cozy you feel a little more at home generally the modern style is does not have a lot of raw wood uh, structures in it generally, generally the modern style is uh, much more it, it goes on the line of being uh, sophisticated rather than uh, warm and homely uh, but over there they have added this element uh, i'm sure they must have asked for it and so which which balances that thing out it doesn't the, the place does not seem uh, like too sophisticated the place does not seem uh, going going on a little more uh, cooler look uh, but but making sure that it's it's much more homely the plants uh, over there also uh, which you'll see we they, they they have various amounts of plants also in other places of their interior again adds quite a bit of warmth to it so it it balances it balances uh, the negatives you can say a little bit of the negative of, of the modern look that people generally have that you know it's it's a bit too cold it's a bit too straight line you know there's there's not a lot of warmth coming out and all that so so it has been done uh, very nicely over here that the walls and uh, the roof is white which again uh, brings out uh, the spaciousness of the entire area and you are able to enjoy a very good view of the outside balcony uh, which they have, they have they have a nice patio over there which has grass and you know overlooking uh, it's overlooking quite a few trees so that must be nice you can see that they have some hidden blinds over there so that uh, they can cover the entire area up just in case they want some more privacy uh, the tv area over there uh, they have they seem to have a, a good tv setup with, with a complete audio system present and uh, again very basic white colored cream colored straight line furniture and uh, same similar wooden style uh, you can say center pieces as so, oh, as well as some plants so as you can see uh, how how they have made sure that uh, this kind of a style actually keeps on moving and they keep on tweaking it so in the tv room uh, you'll find it to be more spacious a little more uh, cooler and a little more you can say inviting of people uh, because uh, of of the wall colors that they have actually made it white and the roof uh, so that makes it uh, a bit more lighter uh, moving on uh, we'll talk about the bedroom so the bedroom picture that we have available over here again you'll find some uh, something similar uh, this time you probably won't find find the heavy marble uh, coming over here at least in the picture i'm not able to find it properly uh, maybe maybe they have that uh, but apart from that it's a very similar color scheme you'll find the chocolate brown in the wall you'll find uh, the basic cream white color in most of the linens for the black chair a very modern painting the entire setup is relatively contemporary so this is not exactly modern because uh, it's not completely straight line and the furniture they do have some curves and it does again bring out the warmth of it and as you can see uh, in this one also the the base color is mostly uh, white Uh, the base effect is of uh, is, is is much more uh, comfy you can say because of that and the chocolate and the and the black they act as sophisticated pieces uh, so that works very well for a bedroom i think uh, it seems very inviting very cozy the linens uh, from the uh, from from the place that they have procured seems very high quality and the design seems impeccable so moving on to the kitchen so this seems like this at a glance this seems like relatively small kitchen but i think that's added because uh, i i think it's the family it's not a joint family so they don't require her to have a very very big kitchen and at a glance it does seem that the space is less uh, but again the cabinets are generally in a straight line model kitchen the cabinets uh, they can have a lot of storage they can have a various amounts of accessories which have not been displayed over here which act great for huge amounts of storage as well as access making those storage items accessible in a very ergonomic way so that you know it's very easy to uh, take out materials store them as well as uh, you know they are very hygienic uh, almost pest free so yeah this seems this seems like again uh, they have used the cream color over here and and you won't find any any heavy pattern over here 
which is which is fine because the space seems a little uh, small for the kitchen uh, it seems like an enclosed one also so in a small enclosed spaces it is generally better that you have a uh, lighter tones of color you gen- it's better it's it's if you have a uh, bit too dark tones of color they might come out looking smart uh, but they do give you a feeling as if the space is less uh, with lighter tone colors it gives you an illusion of a bit more spaciousness it gives you an uh, illusion that uh, you have a little more space mirror also does a similar effect to it so that is what uh, we have over here and uh, this seems like a very simple kitchen they have led lights uh, it's a handleless kitchen uh, they have the light uh, given provision in the led area which gives a very nice uh, sophisticated effect and uh, that's about it uh, nothing nothing to detail in the kitchen and as you can see they have siemens appliances uh, which I, i'm i'm sure i feel like in a high end kitchen nowadays you know having an inbuilt oven and microwave is is becoming an essential so that's a good plus and uh, you can see in the dining area again it's a very similar structure you have uh, the chairs are relatively contemporary or modern style uh, i do like the design of the chairs though they, there's not a design that uh, is used everywhere uh, it's relatively it's relatively contemporary or modern uh the cushion seems very comfortable though they do not have an armrest there should be some kind of an armrest uh, in the design somewhere but uh, uh, i i guess it's fine the look the look seems great and the dining table in itself again the dining table is relatively an industrial piece because they have the raw wood they probably have a steel component over there which would be black and a uh, simple glass the highlighter of the entire entire dining area is actually uh, the lighting over there i think nobody had missed that uh, that seems very elegant uh, very sophisticated given over there and a bit more of a requirement also because as you can see in most of the other parts of the lobby you can say or foyer etc you have a mood lighting you don't have a very big highlight uh, you don't have big lights available anywhere which is good I, uh, because uh, if you have such kind of a heavy uh, pattern of marble on the floor and uh, it's been used so extensively it is better that you have mood lighting uh, otherwise uh, the pattern generally gets a bit too much uh, the, the pattern the focus on the pattern gets gets a bit too much uh, and it takes away from the other elements so it's better that you have mood lighting where at the dining table obviously uh, it's better that uh, yeah, you ha- you have a you have great lighting and uh, this acts this this acts that it, it solves that uh, purpose as well as uh, the piece seems very sophisticated very designer adding a good designing element to it we do have a a small balcony over there which has a garden which i mentioned before more of a indian traditional uh, traditional and modern combined design which is very nice uh, seems very cozy uh, something i can totally imagine their family relaxing in and uh, enjoying the sunlight at Mum- in mumbai as you can see we've gone through the the basic uh, design philosophy you can say the, the design scheme or you can see the entire house and we've broken it down a bit hope you guys found this interesting uh, found it a bit more uh, educational and uh, do like share and subscribe this video if you found it helpful share it with people you know who are probably making their homes who want who are interested in these kind of stuff and uh, look forward to the other videos that are coming up in this segment thank you